so we're here at Fraunhofer IIS at uh, CES 2010. Could you introduce a little bit uh, what Fraunhofer does? Yeah, Fraunhofer is actually Europe's largest research organization. We have over 17,000 employees in Germany and there are six institutes in Germany that do research. And we are one of those 60 institutes. We got famous by the development of MP3, by the co-development of AAC. And now we are sharing new audio coding technologies here at uh, CES. What do you do? Uh, I'm responsible for marketing communications at Fraunhofer IAS Audio and Multimedia Division. All right. So uh, right here you are showing uh, some device over here. So what, what is that? Yeah, it's this device here. Yeah. So what, what does it do? It's a new Logitech device that will be released in the first quarter 2010. And this Logitech device is called Squeezebox Touch. And the yeah. Squeezebox Touch features HDAC. HDAC is a new codec for lossless compression of music. So, so you can get excellent lossless music quality and it's AAC compatible. So every device will play it back in AAC quality and Brand new devices such as this Logitech Squeezebox yeah. Touch will play it very good process quality. So HDAC is um, super high quality. Exactly. It's like perfect quality. Exactly. Well, you get the same as you put in, you get the same out. So it's lossless. You get like studio quality out of your, for example, Squeezebox Touch. So that's something that uh, you have developed, the codec. Yeah, we are codec developers. As I said, for example, we developed uh, MP3 and co-developed AAC, and this is another AAC flavor which we uh, developed called HDAC. So, how much does it cost this device? You know? Uh, no, I don't know. But uh, so, what kind of connectors does it, does it use? Uh, optical, or what is the thing uh, that you need to output to yeah. get the perfect qualities? It doesn't matter, or? Well, there's digital and analog output, and you can connect your loudspeakers on there. And it always depends on the quality of loudspeakers, what you get out there, of course. Cool. And uh, so, uh, how long time does it take to, to develop a new codec? What is the work involved? Well, there's a whole lot of work involved. It's standardized as an international standard at ISO, Standardization Organization. And it's part of MPEG, so that can take several years until a new codec is being stimulated. How about the bit rates? How much does it take and uh, how big are the files and all that? So HDAC uh, files are roughly the half of the original file size and um, the main advantages of HDAC are that it is fully compatible to AAC so that means any AAC device can play back an HDAC file. For example you can play back an HDAC file on an iPod and it plays back in very good quality and HDAC enabled devices then play back the same file in full lossless quality. Wow, so, uh, but even though the file might be, uh, for example, how many kilobit is that uh, an example? It's like 600 kilobits. 600? It will work in the iPod? Yeah. It doesn't have a limit in bitrate support or something? No, that would, it would play back in the, the regular AAC quality. But it's not because there's two files in the same file. It's, it is the file and it somehow it's backward compatible. Exactly. This HDAC is, you have a core, the AAC core, and you have enhancement layers around this core. And these enhancement layers add quality. And if you have all enhancement layers, then you have full lossless compression and you can take off, leave off enhancement layers and then you get to the AAC quality. And well, the iPod just ignores the enhancement layers and plays back the AAC core. That sounds awesome. Uh, so th you said there were 17,000 uh, 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 what's it called researchers at, at Fraunhofer. How many things are they working on? Oh, numerous things. Like, as I said, there are 60 institutes and they work in all fields of research and science. And we are only one of these 60 institutes, so there are a lot of other institutes and they do almost everything what you can think of in 59 research. others. 59 others, yeah. You do uh, uh, cold sausages, or what do you say? Uh, uh, yeah, we do, for example, fat-free sausages, exactly, yeah. so that is also one example of Fraunhofer research. Yeah, but we also... Space? Do, science? Yeah, everything. Everything. Chemistry, biology, everything. Yeah. Pharmaceutical research. Production research, production line optimization research, everything. And, and then when the codec is licensed, uh, 
there is a license to pay, Fraunhofer gets some money back from that and they use it for research? Or, uh... Yeah, of course, that's how we earn our money. Yeah? We license that software and then companies integrate it into their products. And that they can hire more uh, researchers? <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah? yeah it pays for some of uh, the sure. public costs. We are still growing. We are Even in this uh, difficult year, 2009, we were still growing. And a success? Huge success? Yes. Would you say? I mean, like uh, everybody's happy, the politicians and everybody's happy about the work that comes out of it. The whole of EU, the whole of uh, Europe. Well, everybody's I don't know involved. whether the whole of Europe is happy about Fraunhofer, but at least we're doing a good job. We are expanding. We are, our annual research budget is over 2 billion US dollars. So, and we are still expanding even during those difficult business conditions. So we are doing a good job. So I hope that everybody's happy. Okay, cool. Thanks. You're welcome.